This is why the Nothing should be the Shapers Man. I've always seen the Rift Warden as an unreliable narrator. That the Shapers Man's arc and mystery is deliberately meant to play out the Geno and Nothing debate. Like who is it? So the final moments before the reveal, you're left on the edge of your seats waiting for that moment to come. And people believe Nat has come. He always said he imagined a world of perfect order. And people believe because it says order and imagined that it's Geno. But when is misdirection just blatant misrepresentation? The constant mention of the shapeless man infiltrating Stellan's dream is a characteristic only really shown by the nothing, with Raz dreaming of a spire as a child. A dream that would one day leave the last reality in touching distance of the zero point and the nothing knew by its fears and thoughts. Not saying that Geno couldn't one day have his power, just it's never been brought up and it would feel disingenuous if they're trying to elude the Sabres man to be Geno because of this, or they're trying to throw a red hair in and say it's a nothing because of this. The Sabres man is impatient, whispers in dreams, doesn't care for the iron, travels into dreams, and is a beautiful monster. So let's go over what will be said in next week's challenges because that's what everyone's alluding to. Imagine a world of perfect order, and because obviously it says the imagine and order, everyone thinks the Sabres man is Geno. Quite interestingly, and it made me chuckle, and now I can't find it on Twitter, I saw someone news the vision from uh, What If, which is Ultron, and said, oh, look what Geno's going to do, because I think in that he opens a portal, and it's, it, it, it is a good reference, but unfortunately, Ultron is not Geno in the story. Ultron is the nothing. He found life too chaotic, so he eliminated everyone in the universe before he then found out there was a multiverse. So everyone's looking at the imagine a world of perfect order line, but no one is talking about these texts prophesize a beautiful monster enabled by a hubris of a champion. They say nothing of what comes next unless that silence itself is the prophecy. So the Rift Warden seems to be alluding to whatever this prophecy says and does, afterwards there's just silence. And for the nothing, that would be its perfect order. Silence. Nothing. Nothing will remain. And if it is Geno, I believe Geno made his point in Zero War. You can't accept it, can you, that you won? Well, in the narrow sense, you've always defined it. You spoiled my plans. Which incidentally were to protect and perfect every reality in the Omniverse. But there's no point arguing who the hero is now. You always believed my methods were abhorrent that you knew a better way. Congratulations, now you get to prove it. I genuinely hope you are right, because if you fail, it means the end of everything. So would Geno warn the Foundation about himself? And Geno had the zero point in his hands for millennia. He could have just done this a whole lot earlier. I mean, there has been points during the Fortnite storyline where the Imagine Order have gotten the Seven, gotten the Avengers, and let them do their things to save the zero point. But for better or worse, everyone seems to be focusing on that one line, and I think missing a lot of context to the final part of the Oathbound quest that comes out on Tuesday. And one thing I see no one talking about is when Sterling mentions outsiders may have insight into the workings of the rifts. Search a laboratory for research notes. The data is catastrophic. Perhaps the forbidden works of our exiled sages, they might have the answers we seek. So the forbidden works of our exiled sages, I can only come to the conclusion that the Rift Warden is referring to significant persons that have been chucked out the oathbound for controversial opinions and views and practices that the oathbound finds a little bit too risky. Yes, and that's what that means. So that's that. Guys, comment down below what you make of this because I'm sure you will. And like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's been your boy, Mr. JLY. Till next time, bye-bye.